I do want to read President Obama's statement. A cardinal, uh, a spokesman for the president, former president, said a cardinal rule of the Obama administration was that no White House official ever interfered with any independent investigation led by the Department of Justice. As part of that practice, neither President Obama nor any White House official ever ordered surveillance on any U.S. citizen. Any suggestion otherwise is simply false. Just FYI. Uh, and when you are out speaking for President Trump, I would urge you not laugh at yourself. Because this is not funny. This is really bad. Just for the record, we're all really nervous. So if people out there feel nervous, we do too. And we don't think this is funny. Hold it now. So, uh, it's literally no because the president cannot order a wiretap. The Department of Justice does wiretaps. Uh, if the president told the Department of Justice to wiretap uh, Trump or wiretap him illegally, that would be massive! And no, Obama's not that kind of guy. He would never do that. Plus, he, he, you know, all of his guys say he didn't do it. There's no, forget all that. There's no evidence of it. No evidence. The evidence is overwhelming. This is not about President Trump's tweeting. This is about the Obama administration's spying. And the question isn't whether it's spied. We know they went to the FISA court twice. The question is, who did they spy on? The extent of the spying. That is, the Trump campaign, the Trump transition, Trump surrogates. And I want to walk you through this, the American people. Exhibit one, exhibit one. This is all public. Head Street, two separate sources with links to the counterintelligence community have confirmed that the FBI sought and was granted a Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act court. This is spying. Uh, in October, giving counterintelligence permission to examine the activity of, quote, U.S. persons in Donald Trump's campaign with ties to Russia. Let me go on. This isn't me. They say the first FISA request, sources say, named Trump, was denied back in June, denied by the court. Mm -hmm. But the second was drawn more narrowly and was granted in October after evidence was presented of a server possibly related to the Trump campaign and its alleged links to two banks. Now, Sources suggest that a FISA warrant was granted to look at the full content of emails and other related documents that may concern U.S. persons. Now, I know people are hung up with Trump's word wiretapping. Well, how'd they get access to this server information? Does it really matter if it was wiretapping, electronic surveillance, or whatever it was? Here's something also interesting. Neil, look how sometimes people are shocked, shocked, I say, to, to cite Casablanca, at the notion of somebody violating surveillance laws. But then when it comes to Trump, uh, well, uh, this stuff happens. So this is fascinating. As big as Watergate? Probably not, but big. In fact, we have video from outside the Oval Office which shows that animated conversation with Trump and his top aides. In fact, you can see Steve Bannon, Jared Kushner, Reince Priebus, Sean Spicer, and Ivanka Trump in a discussion that appears to get heated at times. Now, we don't know exactly what was being discussed at this particular moment, but we're told the president accused his staff of fumbling the situation with Sessions. Well, yeah, look, let's let's remember what they did with James Rosen. Let's remember that the IRS did target, uh, uh, you know, Americans based on their political sure. beliefs. And in my own personal case, I had more than 40, 40 Secret Service agents illegally tap into my records mm -hmm. and dive into my background. And that's according to the inspector general. So this stuff does happen and it's not necessarily done the legal lawful way. And so, yeah, we're going to take a look and at it. And what happened to those agents that did no, that to you? Nothing. It was a one day story and the national media just kind of pushed it across. I'm the chairman of the oversight committee. 40 secret service agents dove into my records illegally. Nothing. Why? NSA now has the ability to capture in real time the digital copies of everybody's phone calls. Everybody, cell and landline, everybody's keystrokes, mobile device and Look desktop. Look out. Yes. All digital information going over fiber optics into the U.S., out of the U.S., or within the U.S. NSA works for the president. If the president asks for a transcribed copy of any of that, he'll give it to him. As well, the FISA statute says in it, notwithstanding all the rules above and below, the president of the United States can order surveillance on any person in the United States 
in conjunction with a certificate or a certification Technically, filed by the Attorney General. Legally, but maybe not constitutionally. In my view, it's profoundly unconstitutional, but it is legal because the statute says it. Right, okay. So think about this. If you're Barack Obama and you have the ability by making a phone call to hear what Donald Trump is saying, are you going to bother? Can, which Were you going to bother and try and get a warrant? Why would you get the warrant? Yeah, Do you not think that if there was actual evidence that Trump was communicating in an inappropriate manner with the Russians or that anyone very close to him was doing so, do you not think that since they apparently would have had this information, they wouldn't have divulged it to the public during the actual election to cripple his campaign last moment? Of course they would have, and they wouldn't have gotten caught doing it because Hillary Clinton then wins. Pueblo de los Estados Unidos. Les habla la pequeña Hillary Clinton. Estoy muy decepcionada de los Estados Unidos. In this case, uh, I understand from very good friends that what happened was both Jim Clapper, John Brennan at CIA, were intimately involved in trying to derail the candidacy of Donald Trump. That there was some collusion overseas with, your, with Britain's own GHCQ. That information that was gathered from GHCQ was actually passed to John Brennan and it was disseminated within the U.S. government. This dissemination was illegal. Donald Trump is in essence correct that the intelligence agencies and some in the law enforcement community on the side of the FBI were in fact illegally trying to access, monitor his communications with his aides and with other people. I can't speak officially anymore, but uh, I will say that for the part of the national security apparatus that I oversaw as DNI, there was no such wiretap activity mounted against uh, the, pres uh, pr the president-elect at the time or as a candidate or against his campaign. Uh, I can't speak for uh, other Title III mm -hmm. authorized uh, entities in the government or uh, a state or local entity. Yeah, I was just going to say, if the FBI, for instance, d had a FISA court order of some sort for a surveillance, would that be information you would know or not know? Yes. You would be told I, this. I would know that. If there was a FISA court order yes. on something like this. Um, something like this, absolutely. And at this point, you can't confirm or deny whether that exists? I can deny it. There is no FISA court order? Not, not to my knowledge. Of anything at Trump Tower? No. I'm a liar. Oh, I'm a liar. You use the word spying. You know, uh, yes, I, I don't did, quite know what that means what because is. I'll tell you no, what no, it no, is. No, it's, no, no, it's no, 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 no. When a judge says, doesn't know he's being listened into. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. So that's what police do when they're listening in on drug dealers and child That's right. It's no. spying. And sometimes it's justified and sometimes it isn't. But let's call no, it no. what it is. Spying, it's spying is when we go to Russia and try to recruit uh, Russian generals to give us Russian secrets. Okay. When law enforcement is listening okay. to anybody, that is law enforcement. Okay. It's law enforcement. In a lot of cases, it's legitimate. In most cases, it's legal, but it's still spying. This is a pointless semantic argument. I want to get to the <laughs> core. Are, are U.S. intelligence agencies listening in on American citizens connected to the Trump campaign or the administration without their knowledge? You can call it whatever you want, but no, there seems to US be... U.S. intelligence agencies do not do that. The FBI may listen in on, uh, on uh, conversations that Americans are having if a federal judge has been convinced that there is probable cause to award okay, a warrant. See, so this is why piece people of it, don't... that probable cause that makes it not spying. Wow. I don't often agree with Donald Trump in terms of his behavior, but I agree with him in what he said in the tweet that you refer to, that the Democrats are overplaying their hand. The progressives have this bad habit, Bill, of always overplaying their hand. Today, it's accusations of uh, perjury. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, it's going to be more calls for impeachment of Donald Trump. Then there are street demonstrations that sometimes turn violent. There are the nonstop signs and comparisons to Donald Trump and Hitler. Look, 2018 is a long way off, and I certainly don't have a crystal ball. But I get the distinct impression that moderates out there, moderates, people even in blue states who didn't necessarily vote for Donald Trump, I think they find the hard left more annoying and more misleading and more unhinged than they find Donald Trump. I, I, think, I think all this is a gift to Donald Trump. I think, go figure, 
Chuck Schumer, a guy who got a 1600, a perfect 1600 on his SATs before going off to Harvard, is giving Donald Trump a gift by going overboard on all of this. Wow.